coleslaw for the full recipe, subscribe. That's how he likes it. Please like, share, subscribe. Follow us right down there. Oh yeah, it's going to be good. I want you to absorb what I've given you here. So you need to get the clip. You need to get a good quality knife. Don't sharpen the garbage. Give the garbage to your neighbor. Get a new knife. Get a good knife. Uh, not a big fan of uh, the China knockoff stuff, okay? You want to get made in Germany or made in Japan. You want to get the highest level possible. China makes good cleavers if you need a cleaver, okay? So we got the, the guide clip. We got the stone. We got the knife. We got the sharpening steel. We got the butcher block cutting board made in America. The sponsor's got thousands of sizes and thicknesses. Thickness raises your height and your work surface. That's enough information. I don't want to overload you. And uh, this is the good stuff right here. I'll be back with more. Get cooking. Have a great day. I wanted to talk to you today just real quickly about knife selection as well as knife maintenance. By the way, this set's about 10 years old, looks brand new, these knives function perfectly, well maintained, well sharpened, I take care of them. Subscribe on this channel and learn a lot more about knives and knife sets. And with that, get cooking. Have a great day. other videos. If you want to learn more about garlic, it's real, real simple. Subscribe right down here. Put garlic in the little search engine and you're going to find all kinds of things. Garlic facts, garlic nutrition, garlic recipes, how to roast garlic, how to chop garlic, how to mince garlic, how to dice garlic, all kinds of cool stuff. I love it and I eat a lot. You can see what I got going on here. Oh yeah, it's looking really cool. I like it. I'm gonna eat that. Don't forget, hit up your sponsor and get the good stuff. Yeah. You know, when you want to see more, share it with your friends. And if you need custom butcher block counters, table tops, even this end grain, it's oh so nice to cut on. Contact the sponsor. They're having a sale, and I know there's free shipping as well. Yeah, that. That is the good stuff right there. Uh, in case you're wondering, I've been smoking this over hardwood coals and cherry for quite a while. Leave a comment, like, share, subscribe. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, got some fresh basil here. It's looking really, really nice. Look at that color. Mm -hmm. Smells wonderful. I'm going to roll this basil up, do a really quick chiffonade cut. Mm -hmm. Just like that. Some of that's going to go on my pasta, of course. Yeah, notice how sharp that knife is and how nice this cut is there. Looking really, really good. Uh huh.
please like, share, subscribe, smash that like button, let other people find the video. And if you want to see more uh, about portobello mushrooms as well as pasta dishes, just check out this channel. There's a lot of awesome recipes on there. Make sure you uh, leave a comment. Like, share, subscribe, score all the cool stuff at your sponsor, get cooking, and of course for the recipe, subscribe and watch the chef's other videos. You're going to find it. Sourdough bread. Oh, it's going to be good. got some homemade clam chowder here. I put extra clams in there, lots of potatoes, some thyme. It's good to go. Make sure you subscribe. You can check out some of the soup recipes that I've decided to share. Black pepper. I love it. Oh yeah. Let's put a little extra grind on there. If you want one, you can visit the sponsor and you can check them out right there. They got all kinds of them at the sponsor. Uh, Star anise. Oh, it's a really, really nice quality. Hard to find. Okay, that right there is a perfect chopped basil. Oh yeah, just like that. Okay. Tomato filet in French, concasse. Next step, we turn each of these into a small dice. Okay, a few more things. I've reserved some of my chiffonade for later. These are the tomato hearts or core parts. They're going to be used in a soup or stock. Ah, the ingredients for my bruschetta. I'm going to combine all of them in a mixing bowl. Along with the basil. Extra virgin olive oil with a black truffle. Three tablespoons. Fresh ground black pepper. Just a touch. And depending on the time of the year, a pinch of sugar. Okay, we give this a quick stir. How does it look? Please leave a comment. A quick tasting. Wow. A bit more of this pink sea salt. Oh yeah. It's going to be good. Splash of white balsamic. Wow. That is an amazing bruschetta right there. I want you to try this recipe. Come back, leave a comment. Like, share, subscribe. Oh, yeah. That's going to be good. Over here we have some fresh oregano. 
looking really good. And with oregano, I like to use the scissors and just remove a few of the top leaves as well to let it expand. Okay. Fresh oregano. Oh yeah. Okay, I'm in the kitchen. I've got this fresh basil. It's looking really, really nice there. I've got a razor sharp knife. You're wondering just how sharp this is, right? Yeah. Always good to start with a very sharp knife. in one of the kitchens with one of these cutting boards and almost every week or bi-weekly people ask me chef how do you clean that cutting board so that's what I'm gonna touch on here right now so this is a rock maple board it's reversible uh, it's 20 by 15 by two and a quarter and uh, it's one of these really good quality here I like it this one's been used for a long, long time, maybe more than six or seven years, I think. So as it gets dirty, we're using the bench scraper to scrape it off, just like this. Any residue that's left, you can just put on a paper towel and you can see it right there. Okay, towel dry it, that's good. All right. Looking at this, the board's getting a little bit dry. It's ready for an application of mystery oil. There's another product, a little thicker, that has a little more beeswax. That's the board cream. Good stuff. Shake it up. I've got more tricks. Watch some of the other videos. More tricks with this, too. We shake it up. We put it on in a swirling motion like this. Okay. And we use a a uh, plastic bag because it can be recycled and I don't want any fire hazard or anything around floating around any used product plastic bag recycle circular motion like this oh yeah okay I'm almost done all right so that's it this surface has been treated you can do the sides if you'd like With this glove on, you have full protection, no cuts, no issues. I like it, it works, and uh, wow, it protects. That's what it's all about, safety. Yeah, made in America, made in USA, only at your sponsor right there. Yeah, check it out, get cooking. Have a great day. Oh, yeah. 
it's going to be good. Check it out. They do custom sizes. They do edge grain, end grain, maple, walnut, cherry, islands, counters, tables, cutting boards, chopping blocks. And these babies last for a long, long time. This one here is at least 20 years, 20 years used. You can see just how nice it is. The patina, the quality, wow, I like it. And it's a pleasure to chop on. Yeah, visit your sponsors. as seen on TV and used by chefs and food service professionals around the world. Check it out at the sponsor. They're having a free shipping sale and uh, wow, it's the best. <laughs>